Well, the Yonkers council member is facing some backlash for his comments about kids attending this weekend's Pride event where drag queens will perform. News 12's Nadia Galindo spoke to the event organizers and performers and has more. Yonkers council member Anthony Baranti is facing fierce backlash for posting this on Facebook earlier this week, telling parents to leave the kids out of this event, referring to this weekend's Pride Festival in Yonkers, where he's taking issue with drag performances in front of children. A uh, blanket statement saying that a drag queen or anyone in the LGBTQ plus community is not safe for a child is strongly misplaced and, and dangerous for, for many people. Yonkers Pride president and chairperson Stephen Cruz call the comments transphobic, but not surprising. This sentiment isn't unique, that there are um, too many people in our country and unfortunately in our community with similar viewpoints. The council members post comes as Texas lawmakers want to make drag performances in front of children illegal. I'm really not happy to hear that that is like happening also here in what we think is like a progressive sort of area in Westchester. In a statement, Moranti says he decided to ask his constituents their thoughts on Facebook after seeing negative comments on this post by the city of Yonkers, where many residents expressed concerns that children activities and drag performances would both be included, adding the great thing about America is that we're all entitled to our opinions. In his post, he also stated, I'm not anti-LGBTQ and asks, am I being too old fashioned in my views? White Plains native Jorge Flores, who goes by Gigi Coutina in drag, is performing at Yonkers Pride. He says queens adjust performances based on the audience. Drag queens are entertainment. We're clowns. We're pretty much like the Elmo, but this Elmo just wears rhinestones and sequins. <laughs> Flores says he believes exposure to diverse people helps work towards a more inclusive community. Nadia Galindo, News 12. You can find the council member's full statement on the issue with this story on our website, news12.com. Well, right now in your kitchen sink, do you have a sponge or a brush? Well, if you said sponge, you're going to want to listen to this.